Hi everyone, it's time for an improvised YouTube tutorial. And this video I'm going to show you how to assemble the Open Smartwatch. And I'm going to show it to you by disassembling one. Let's start with the light edition. You start by taking out the screws. And those are 10 millimeter M2 hex screws. You can see the top comes off. We have the LCD display. If we put one finger on the display and carefully lift it out, we can see this is the round lithium ion battery that's squeezed into the bottom part. So if we hold the cables to the back, the battery comes out. This is the battery that I'm using. And I can push out the sandwich of electronics and display from the back and then turn it and the battery will slide through the space in the middle of this part here. So those are the three parts. The back shell, the middle bit and the top bit. Close everything. And this is what the sandwich looks like. everything together. Now we can see here the, the thickest part is actually the blob of hot glue versus the electronics. Maybe we can turn it a bit against that. Then we have the thickest part here at the TTCO T micro module. And in total this ends up at, well, if we carefully 10.6 millimeters. Let's see if it still works. There we go. Send it back to deep, deep sleep by pressing the bottom left button. And the display is soldered on here onto the back. And I've added a bit of captain tape here to make sure we don't short circuit those pins here by folding it down and pressing it down. Now what I tried one time is I added some double-sided tape here on the back which helps to keep it in place and stops it from wiggling around a bit. But if you want to take it apart again, for example for demonstrating videos, um, I broke the LCD screen so it cracked multiple times. So until you're done, done, I don't recommend that. Yes, so this is the light edition. Let's repeat this process with the GPS edition. Same setup, we have the four screws. Again, the 10 millimeter M2 hex screws. The lid comes off and we can see the PCB is a bit bigger. Take off the bottom part and this is a much bigger 800 milliamp battery. Push out the PCB from the back. This one's a bit tighter. And the battery also comes through a slot in the middle piece here. And let's check it still works. So the, the, the size of this PCB is of course a bit bigger because we have Two big components added here. This is the GPS module, the Quactel L96M33, and um, a micro SD card slot. And one of the requirements of the GPS module is that the PCB is at least four centimeters wide and the minimum is 20 centimeters deep. And um, because we have that many components, we still need the space in any case. Um, the setup here is the same, soldering the LCD to the back and then flipping it over. And if you 
run this video in reverse, you will know how to assemble the Open Smartwatch, the GPS edition and the light edition. Now one thing you need to, to watch out for is that those buttons, the, the, the way I'm doing the buttons right now, is a very frustrating process to keep them in place because as soon as you start well, accidentally pushing them inside, the, the PCB won't fit. And if you're not careful, you will break off the buttons here on the side. So this is not optimal. But with some practice, you can see this one has already moved inside. You will eventually get this to work, I'm sure. Yes, so tell me what you think in the comments. And if you're interested in seeing the next generation of cases that I have an idea for, that I'm designing right now to make it more waterproof and avoid having these flimsy little buttons here. Subscribe and if it works out, you will see another video in a week or so here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.